Peace and prosperity be unto all who's listening and watching. It's your girl Lachey Miller, right? And I'm back with another video. And today, guys, I just want to say that the most suitable thing in the darkest time of your life is to think of the most happiest time, the most happiest memory. That's the most suitable thing to do in the most difficult times of your life. When you're struggling to overcome something in the process or the midst of something, think of happy moments or times or people who you had happy times with. Think about your dreams and what it feels like when you will get there and accomplish those dreams, right? Or think about the things that you already accomplished. Think about the things that have made you happy or make you happy. Or the things that you do in moments of your life that uh, that give you like really good joy, right? Like I'm really happy when I'm eating. and But it's, though it's temporary, I'm really happy. And you know, you got to think about things that make you happy. Whether it's, it's small. Especially the small things. Because you know... The big things are always far-fetched and though they're obtainable and they're reachable, they're longevity. So think about the things that you can lay hold on, the things that you can grasp, the things that you can get today. Don't think so far away. Yes, think far away when it comes to vision, ideas, dreams, and desire. But when it comes to moments of total like depression or anxiety or um just like like doubts like you having doubts when it comes to moments like that you want to think about your most happy of times a day and like the most common thing for me when i am feeling anxious or anything is like to listen to water to listen to rain whether i go to youtube and actually put it on a video where it has sounds of rain, whether it's an audio of rain or sounds of nature or instrumentals or frequencies or just making sounds to create vibrations around the atmosphere around me, getting my energy, getting my mood to change and my attitude and the way I'm thinking in that moment is more important than what I'm trying to overcome, okay? Because despite the fact you still have to learn the lesson of why you're experiencing what you're experiencing but until you overcome it you won't learn that lesson right so what you can do is just focus on things that make you happy and listening to rain and frequencies and sounds of nature and sounds in general like instrumentals makes me really happy makes me really content makes me really at peace because rain is very calming. Sounds of nature is very soothing. Um, instruments are like, you know, they make you really happy and you feel like you, one day you can play an instrument too. Um, it's just being in tune with yourself. It's getting out of the negative. It's getting out of the, the uh, frustration, the, um, the deep despair, the anxiety, the depression, all these different things that we experience in a moment of overcoming or after going through a long day, a long day, we experience all these emotions, but we have to come out of those and find contentment in the things that make us happy in our thoughts and our um, in our um, moments in reality, like actual life, physical life. Do things that make you happy, and yes, be consistent with things you want, but make sure that you don't overtire your physical body, your mind, your emotions, and um, things like that. You want to take care of yourself in the most proper manner, okay? So, this is me giving love and light in this aspect, but I want you guys to know that I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a prosperous day. We're out.